that you are now a husband and wife in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Justin and Alicia, the Apostle Paul writes, be united, live in peace, and God of peace and love will be with you. And to all here present, Jesus said they are no longer two, therefore, but one body. So then when God is united, no one may divide. Would you join with me in offering a prayer of blessing upon the newly wed couple? So Father, we celebrate this moment, and before this ceremony ends, we just pray that you would bless and keep Justin and Alicia. Pray that the days ahead would be filled with love and adventure, and that the challenges that they face would forge an even deeper love. God, I pray that the, even the promises that we made as family and friends to love and to support Justin and Alicia with our friendship, that we would hold um, that covenant dear to our heart. We pray that their marriage would be a blessing not only to them, but to many around them. So we thank you now for this new couple and pray that the road ahead of them would be blessed with you. We pray this in Jesus' name and everybody who agrees said. Amen. Now I want to, before I introduce you to the couple and the bridal kiss, I want to just give this last blessing that is so ancient and so cool. These are the words of uh, the Hebrews from many, many years ago. And uh, the idea of, of a blessing in that culture was generally through the laying out of hands. That's not so foreign to us. Um, we have, I have a grandson back there. And... Uh, you don't bless from a distance, you bless up close on grandpa's lap. And the same thing with our kids. So if it's okay with you, I'd like to just place my hand on, on your bride here and uh, read this blessing to you. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. And may the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. The grace of the Lord Jesus be with you now and always. Justin, you may kiss your bride. Thank you.